Hello Middle Street, today we will explain lesson 1 in unit 2, physical properties of electrons. We can't imagine our life without electric current, as electricity plays an important role in our daily life, such as it is used to light up our houses, factories and streets. It is used in operating some machines, such as radios, televisions, washing machines, iron, and electric heaters. Electric current is generated in electric power stations far away from our houses. The dynamo converts kinetic energy into electric energy. How is electric current generated? First, we should know the atom consists of nucleus contains positive protons and the neutron neutrons and electrons, negative particles that revolve around the nucleus. In the presence of an outer attraction force from another atom or positive charge, the electrons will leave the atom and move freely through a conductor <coughs> producing electric current. So, electric current is the flow of electric negative charges, electrons, in a conducting substance as a metal wire. Number one, electric current intensity. Electric current intensity is the quantity of electric charges flowing through a cross section of the conductor in one second. Measured by a meter, symbol is E, circle, and measuring unit is ampere. Ampere is a quantity of a, char of a charge of one column passing through any cross section of a conductor in one second. So, electric current intensity I equal quantity of electric charge divided by time in seconds. For example, calculate the current intensity due to the flow of 5,400 coulombs in 5 minutes through a conductor. Answer I equal Q over C, quantity of electric charge divided by time, equal 5,400 coulomb divided by 5 times 60 second, equal 18 ampere. The current flowing through a conductor is directly proportional to the quantity of electric charge. How is a meter connected to the electric circuit? The meter is connected in the series in the electric circuit. The positive pole of dry cell is connected to positive end of the meter. The negative pole of the dry cell is connected to negative end of the emitter. No electric current will pass through the conductor. The electric potential difference V. The difference in the electric potential between two conductors determines the transfer of electric charges to and from an object if it is connected to another conductor. So, electric current moves from high potential to low potential. If potential difference equals zero, the electric potential is the condition of an conductor that shows the transfer of electricity to or from it when it is connected to another conductor. So, the potential difference is the value of the work done to transfer a quantity of a charge equals one column between two ends of a conductor. Potential difference V equal work W divided by quantity of a charge Q. Measured by voltometer, symbol V, measured unit volt. So, the volt is the potential difference between two poles of a conductor 
on doing a work of one joule to transfer a quantity of electricity equals one column. And the joule is the amount of work done by a force of one newton to move an object through a distance of one meter. The column the charge transferred by a constant current of one ampere in one second. Comparison between voltometer and ammeter. Sample voltometer V and ammeter A. Used to measure potential difference between the two ends of a wire. The electromotive force EMF between two poles of a source. But the ammeter used to measure the current intensity through an electric circuit. Wave connection voltmeter in barrel but a meter in series. Unit of voltmeter volt but a meter ampere. For example, if a charge of 10 coulomb passes a given cross section of a conductor in two seconds, find the electric in current intensity. I, electric current intensity equal Q, quantity of charges, divided by time by second, so equal 10 over 2 equal 5 ampere. Example number two, how much energy must a battery add to a charge of 80 coulomb in a circuit to move from a point of potential difference of 60 volts to another point where the potential is 75 volts. The potential difference equals 75 minus 60 equals 15 volts. The work done equal potential difference V times quantity of charge Q. So, equal 15 times 80 equal 1,200 joules. The resistance R. The obstruction that the electric current faces during its movement through a conductor. Measured by ohmmeter and its unit ohm. The resistance of a conductor that has an electric current passing through it of intensity of 1 ampere when the potential difference across its terminals is 1 volt. So 1 ohm equals 1 volt over 1 ampere. Types of electric resistance, constant and variable. The variable resistance is a sliding rheostat. It is a resistance that you can change its value to adjust the value of current intensity and the potential difference in the parts of the circuit. And it is its structure. Idea of operation. If we increase the length of the wire, resistance increases and intensity decreases and vice versa. For example, an electric current of intensity 20 ampere pass through a wire with a resistance 10 ohm. Find the potential difference between its two ends. Answer: Potential difference V equal I current intensity times resistance R equal 20 times 10 equal 200 volts. The relation between current intensity I and the potential difference V, Ohm's law. The scientist George Ohm discovered the relation between current intensity I and the potential difference V, Ohm's circuit. Adjust the rheostat till a suitable current intensity passes. Read the voltmeter to get the potential difference V. Read the ammeter to get the intensity I. Repeat the steps by changing the rheostat several times. Calculate the ratio V over I equal constant. So, the constant is denoted by R. So, R equal V divided by R. Or, V equal R times I. To verify, to verify it mathematically, V directly proportional with I. The constant is R, so V equal constant times R.
So V potential difference equal R resistance times I intensity. It states that the electric current intensity which passes through the conductor is directly proportional to potential difference across its terminals at a constant temperature.